are pretty heavy. Not bad. So, I was going to work out with her, and then she said she wanted to do really heavy barbell rows, and I was like, oh, I've only been back in the gym for a few weeks. But, I changed my mind because this is one of my favorite new clients now. I've been working together for uh, a while. Bombshell came down here to do a bunch of shoots this weekend. We trained together yesterday. We're training together uh, today up at Fitness for You Palm Beach. And we're gonna go hard on back. This gym has amazing, amazing back equipment. So I told her, get that heavy stuff out of the way and then we're gonna get into some really fancy ways to just stimulate your back from, from different angles, move fast, a lot of volume, a lot of reps. And like I said in the last video, uh, the books are out, guys. we we'll free ebooks for you guys. There's the beginner slash intermediate and there's the advanced. If you're getting back into the gym after quarantine, if you're in one of those areas that's now allowed back or you're about to be allowed back, these books will help you get back into it fast. One of them will give you full speed in 30 days and then the one that I put out, the advanced one, it's a little more intense, you're gonna be sore in the beginning, but you'll be back into it right after two weeks. If you need to take the extra week, you can, uh, but it worked for me, I was back full speed in three weeks. Not as strong as I was before, but I'm not nearly as sore, my body filled back out, recovery is good, and I'm ready to just keep progressing like I was before quarantine. So, she and I are gonna go and get into some fancy stuff, not gonna talk a lot, probably do a little bit of uh, education before the sets, but I'm gonna show you how you're supposed to move quick and get that volume going. So you ready? Yep. All right. A couple of really cool back machines. We're gonna start light just to get some, well, she's got her blood flowing already, but just to ease into it. You never see these machines anywhere. And I always tell people, you go to a gym that has different machines, take advantage of them. So for this one, I'm gonna sit backwards like this. And you have a narrow grip here and you're pulling down 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 with your elbows out and it's this mimics like a back double by shot so you're going to feel the same contraction that you feel in a back double by and it's hard to hit all those little muscles up in your back like that's why i love this one so much so i'm going to start out 15 reps this is very easy i'm just getting my blood flowing this is probably way too light for her we'll go up on the next one and as soon as i finish this set I'm gonna hop on to this next machine. Now, one thing that I like to do on these is when you come down, really squeeze the contraction. So then, I'm gonna jump onto this machine. Now you're flopped around. This is more like a normal lat pull down, but the contraction is way, way different. And you feel it more in the front of your lats. but you feel it all the way down on the insertion. These are really, really cool machines that you don't get to see that often that makes this gym really, really awesome. And the way that we're gonna do it is there's gonna be basically no breaks. So she's gonna go here and then she's gonna pop on here. Once I see her start getting into her set on there, then I'm gonna start and that way there's no breaks. We're just gonna keep going around. It's tough to do that. Your forearms are gonna burn a lot. Uh, but this is how you really, really get that blood volume going. So these are here? Yep. And just bring your elbows back just like you're doing like a, like a back elbow shot.
Not a lot of gyms have this particular hammer strength, but I love this one. Because there's a variation you can do on it. Most people don't do, you guys have definitely seen me do it in videos over the years. But instead of doing an underhand like you're supposed to, you go all the way in, close, with an overhand grip. And it's a unique pullback. It really, really, really contracts. Really more through the middle of your back. Uh, most of the time when I show it to people, they say they haven't really felt their lats con contract this way. Uh, it's all about the form. Uh, and not trying to go too heavy and actually feeling the stretch and contract. So what you do is just get a little low. Right? So when you're doing an underhand row, you want to pull low into your waist. But if we're going overhand, we're coming all the way down like this. The key, you're gonna be at a little bit of an, an angle. So I have my back arched, full extension, and I'm trying to really drive my elbows out and back, rather than dragging them across my side, the way that you would with an underhand row. And this hits your lats in a much different spot. And if you go too heavy, you're not gonna feel it in that spot the same way. break up my back workouts with some form of stiff arm pull down, mostly because when you're doing a lot of higher rep rows, your forearms start to burn really, really bad. So I'm gonna give the forearms a break, but keep the, the lats firing as much as possible. And this is one that you're gonna wanna do really strict. Core tight, round squeeze, back up. too far. Two completely different row machines. I love the fact that they have them here like this. A lot of gyms don't have these. Most gyms have your standard straight row. So this one, your feet are up on the platform and you're pulling down. That one, your feet are down and you're pulling from up. So you're gonna hit your lats in completely different angles with these rows. And really rows are the key to building a big back. So they're both capable, but we're gonna get so much blood in supersetting them together. So we're just gonna do three times. Boom, 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 boom. Just like we did over there. I'm just pumping them up.
incorporate prone prone and supinated motions. So we're gonna be hitting the, the lat through completely different angles. And this is one that you're not gonna to wanna to go too heavy with. You wanna make sure you do it right. So, you get in here, sit nice and upright, right? So your normal rep, you're just pulling down. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna supinate my palm all the way, pull my elbow straight down. Now this gives you a lot of stretch through the lap, uh, like an underhand pull down. But since it's isolated, you can really focus on those imbalances and differences because most of us have a dominant side. So if you get in here and you take your dominant side and you can do it 15 times, and then you go to your weak arm, and you can only do 11, you know you need to start breaking up a lot of the stuff you do and get into different breakdowns of unilateral and bilateral training and probably watch out a little bit for just doing compound stuff. I see this happen all the time. And much of the time, these imbalances lead to injuries. So I'm keeping my elbow in front of me and down. Not out. It's in front of me and down. This is mimicking like a pullover, just much, much safer. So you want your elbow to be like, almost not imagine like it's getting pulled this way. Like, like uh, you know those pullover machines? Yeah. That's the motion. Here. But keep it underhand the whole time. And really concentrate on trying to squeeze from the insertion. Yep. Once you get that contraction in there, I can feel it. You'll start really, really building this bottom part of your lap. Tricky part to hit. Feel it. Awesome. Good. Good. Good, Lord. That's it. Squeeze that shit. Good. Good. Different, right? Yeah. Once you feel it, oh, you can feel it almost like it's it almost, like, feels, almost like, feels like it's coming. It's like in pulling here. out from your ribs, right? right? Mm -hmm. But that's where your lats insert really, right. really low. Some people you can see how low they insert, but right. that little muscle runs all the way down. And if you can keep stimulating it and opening everything up, just make sure that much wide wide. We're 
since we're doing the single arm move now, it makes sense to also do the row like that, complete the back. So we're gonna go into the pulley like this, brace yourself. And a lot of people do variations of rows and turns, and I'm actually just gonna row it, guys. And just concentrate on squeezing my lat really nice. Put your hand where you're comfortable. Some people do it on their hip. Some people will rest it here. We're just getting blood in there now. Hey guys, um, busted a bunch of uh, machines and volume. Obviously, I skipped the hard stuff in the beginning, but she was training a lot during quarantine. Yes, I had no time off during quarantine. So. Lucky! I was so jealous, but I will, t I will also say that I don't know if I would have did Barbell of Bros today anyway. <laughs> uh, my back's already a little bit tired just from watching them take pictures. Uh, so, I encourage you guys to check out the ebooks. And we're gonna keep cranking out more, but for those of you who have not been in the gym for a while, you can't just go back in full speed. There's a right and wrong way to do it so that you don't get hurt, so you're not so sore, that you don't wanna go back. And I feel like I really, really laid it out well for you guys, and that's why I wanted to check them out. And like I said, they're free. Um, Laura came down, we did a bunch of photo shoots. After all the photo shoots, she came and trained after like an animal. I think that's freaking awesome. Um, are you ready to go home? No. No? <laughs> we had a really fun time. So for all, the, for all of you who've asked if she's cool or not, she's awesome. And uh, we've been working together for a while. She's very meticulous with her plan, which makes it easy for me. And I think that she's a perfect representative for Blackstone Labs. You guys seem to like her a lot, so you'll probably see more of her. And once again, for fitness for everybody, uh, we'll take a nice picture up there, give them some love on social media. They're so nice. I forgot to ask to come, and I called at 9 o'clock last night, and they were like, yes, definitely, please. So thank you so much, guys. For Muscle Bombshell, TJ, peace out, bye.